Hey, Eagles fans, John Vita is back with you as we continue to catch up with our FGCU head coaches. Talking a little baseball in this segment with legendary Eagles head coach Dave Tillette. Toe, how's it going? It's going good. It's going good. Well, as good as it can be, I will say that. Yeah, no question. Uh, you guys had your season obviously cut short. You did get about 30% of it in before the shutdown there in, in mid-March. And you guys were playing some great baseball at that point. You had a slow start, but then uh, before things were stopped, you were on a five-game winning streak. You beat a ranked team in Pepperdine, then got a sweep. And your last game before the shutdown was a walk-off extra inning win over Georgetown. So you guys were rolling. What was the key to that turnaround there in early March? Well, I think we got to spring break where uh, um, we could practice other, we could practice every day, and there was no classroom, no studies, and we were able to go. Sometimes we went three times a day, and sometimes we only went twice. But I think we got some things straightened out and got on a roll and won eight of our last nine. So you finished with, with a winning record, obviously did, didn't even get to the midway point of the season because of everything going on. But you had a really strong roster with a lot of upperclassmen, um, and you hope to get most of them back for, for next season. It's a very complicated situation at the moment. But uh, obviously a lot of optimism for how you would have finished this season. But because you get to take most of the same group into battle next year, I'd imagine you're pretty optimistic about where the program is headed. I think everyone in the country um... – is in the same boat, is going to like their teams. I mean, because you're going to be a year older. You're going to play with some kids that are 23 years old, 22 years old. Um, so I think everyone in the country is, is basically in the same place. Um, I really like my club. I love my freshman class coming in. I think we've done a great job of recruiting. Our junior college kids are really, really special type guys. So uh, I really do like this club. Yeah, and obviously it does get very complicated now. You might have the toughest roster crunch of any coach at FGCU um, because you've got the MLB draft coming up, but it's significantly shortened. It's only five rounds instead of 40. The money to entice players to go pro has kind of dried up quite a bit. So you've got nine seniors who you thought would be graduating. Those guys can now come back because of the extra year of eligibility. You've got the seven draft eligible juniors who might want to come back. And then of course your, your incoming freshmen and your transfers that you had signed. So there's a lot of juggling for you to do right now with the roster. And I'd imagine it's a pretty fluid situation. What's been the biggest challenge for you? Uh, I think the biggest challenge is, is trying. I think the biggest challenge is ahead of me uh, is to find playing time for a lot of good players and to keep everybody happy. I mean, right now, shoot. I mean, I love our roster, but, Sooner or later, it's going to have to wash out. Some kids are going to play, and some, some good kids are not going to play. Um, so the fall, if there is a fall, is going to be the most important fall we've ever had here. But from a talent standpoint right now, with 45 guys on our roster right now going in, will be the most talented roster we've had. Yeah, there's pros and cons to all of this. One pro is that college baseball is going to be stacked next year, and hopefully your team's a big part of that because – less guys will be going pro, but I'm sure you've gotten a chance to talk to a lot of other college coaches. What, what's kind of the feeling right now amongst college coaches in a time where minor league teams are most likely going to get cut at some point in the next year? Uh, there's less draft dollars to go around. So college baseball will be stronger, and you already talked about the challenges in the next few months, but what's the general feeling amongst college coaches about the future of the baseball industry? Uh, most college coaches that I've talked to, and we're on the phone quite a bit. I mean, we're banging things off each other. But but everyone is under the same thing that uh, that next year is going to be the best year of college baseball from a talent standpoint because there's only five rounds of the draft. And you you got some really good guys that might have slipped to the sixth, seventh, and eighth round because they didn't get a full year. So next year, from a talent standpoint – across the country will be the best year of college baseball for sure. And coach, before we let you go, I got to congratulate you on your 600th win, which you got against Kent state earlier in the season. It's, it's been a full two decades at FGCU. You're the original head coach uh, before the school was even a division one program. Uh, as you kind of look back in, at the full two decades and how you found such a nice niche and, and a winning culture here in Southwest Florida, I'd imagine there's a lot of talent down here, but uh, what's been the, the big part of the formula to, to, produce winning teams year in and year out? Well, I think our style of play, but but I think the number one thing is we have great kids. And I think we develop players. I mean, if if you look at, I mean, Jake Knoll and Richard Blyer 
playing in the big leagues, those two guys were both walk-ons. So I think we do a great job of uh, – I think we do a great job of uh, – of seeing talent and seeing where they fit in our program. But those 600 wins, man, I didn't do <laughs> – I didn't win a ball game. I'm very grateful for all the kids that have played from our first team um, to the 600th win. And there's some of those guys that have been on 500 and 600, so they got to experience both, which was really, really neat for those guys and really neat for me because that says in the last three years we've been pretty good to win 100 games during their tenure here. Well, the wins speak for themselves. Coach Dave Tillett, thank you so much for the time today. We appreciate it. Good luck juggling that roster, and we can't wait to see that loaded Eagles team uh, come 2021. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless.